Uh, Peter Wanless, who's the chief executive of the Big Lottery Fund, has joined us at the uh, end of the People Power Change Network that we've been uh, having. And Peter had a chance to see some of the presentations back. What sense do you get of the conversations you've been hearing, Peter? Well, it's a very challenging thing to walk into, David, because there's such a variety and range of incredibly interesting and stimulating ideas that kind of getting your head round all of them is, uh, is quite challenging. And I think there's a really um, important job to be done now to try and organise and synthesise some of the themes which have come out today and make sure that in doing that we don't lose the authenticity of what people have said uh, could be done. So it's really important now that we keep the dialogue going that is started here today in the period between now and taking some specific proposals to our England committee in March. So um, I feel a kind of mixture of excitement and slight bewilderment, I suppose, at the um, scale and range of what we've heard today. Aside from the specific ideas we've heard, I've been struck very much by the last uh, few months of working with Linda and Sean, how far um, you've been prepared to open things up. It's been a delight to be able to report on ideas openly, fly, fly up um, some thoughts about the way Big is going. You're a great social media Twitter enthusiast. Is this openness and engagement part of a theme which is emerging? Yes, I think for, for publicly funded organisations these days, it's incredibly important to be transparent and open and accountable. And if you're not actually you'll be caught out. So why not use these techniques as uh, a strength for the organisation? And there's no shortage, actually, of enthusiasm and ideas to which people are willing to contribute. I mean, it's great that so many people, from our point of view, have been willing to share some time this morning to let, them know, let us know what they think. That can only be a good thing from my point of view. It's a slightly cheeky one, but um, one of the topics up for discussion was big staff becoming social reporters, or whatever you choose to call it. Um, do you think there's scope for that? Um, I think there is, um, potentially, but um, I, I don't know. What, why our staff? Um, why not other people doing it for us? I mean, I think we need to build on and take advantage of the expertise that's already out there, as well as trying to turn ourselves into something. Um, so I think we need to have enough of it to know and understand what the concept is, but not imagine that you have to be an employee of the big lottery fund in order to be able to perform that sort of role. Absolutely. So you'd like to encourage sort of thing Will Perrin was talking about and other people were talking about in terms of great resources out there for people to tell their own stories and you want to encourage them to do that rather than you yes. have them have, rather than you tell the story for yes. them. Yes, and I think we need to know just about enough of it to be able to spot what is real and, and, and excellent and what is what is not. I mean, this is a slight kind of aside, but the Big Local Trust Programme is a very important investment for us over the next 10 years, actually, where we're putting £200 million into estates and neighbourhoods that aren't otherwise able to access lottery money in order to build up capability in those areas which have struggled to access lottery money. We haven't got the, um, the people or the resource ourselves to actively engage in those areas and so we've established a trust to do that job on our behalf but actually in the process of getting from where we wanted to be to launching that trust people who work in our regional offices have been out and about on those estates talking to people engaging directly with local communities and while that is unsustainable in the medium term it's actually been a fabulous opportunity for our staff and has brought a real kind of insight into what it's like to live and work in some of those places and access our funding which will remain with us for uh, a considerable period of time.